My name is Jay Reardon and today I want to show you a quick and easy kingfish rig that I've been using for over 20 years now. Uh, I was fortunate enough to learn this whenever I was a, a child. I grew up in the panhandle of Florida and I was shown this by a gentleman who was uh, doing quite a bit of commercial fishing for kings. I've used this in several areas to include the uh, panhandle of Florida, Alabama, Biloxi, Mississippi, and now I'm using it down in the uh, west coast of Florida. It's a very quick and easy rig. It's uh, very, very fast to tie. It's quick to learn and it shows to, that it's held up very well over the years. Basically all we're going to do is just tie it with a uh, braided wire like a seven strand or American fishing wire. And as you can see on this rig it can be modified for uh, various sizes of baits. Uh, there are very large blue runner Spanish mackerels, uh, ribbon fish, and you can even use a very small one for uh, your greenies or your cigar minnows. Uh, the material we're going to use is the uh, stainless steel leader. It's um, a seven strand variety that comes in different brands, either American Fishing Wire or the uh, seven strand brand. And it's a very soft wire and allows the uh, bait to appear much more natural in the water. The um, disadvantage when compared to the traditional single strand wire is that it is quite a, quite a bit thicker, um, but I think that the action of the bait makes up for that. It also um, is able to be straightened. And the rig that we're gonna tie is a snell on both the trailer hook and the uh, nose hook on the bait. And uh, we're also gonna show you today how to tie a uh, loop knot with the seven strand wire as opposed to having to use a traditional crimp. So to start off, it's simply just Cut off a piece of wire that you think you're going to need for your bait. You try to match your hooks according to the size of the bait that you've been catching that day. We'll use this size 4 trouble hook for uh, example today. You simply lay the wire against the shaft on the hook and now you begin to wrap around the hook working back down towards the bend. After about seven to eight wraps, you simply feed the wire back to the eye of the hook. Now, based on the size of the bait that you have that day, you can gauge how far apart you need to put your hooks. Once again, you just lay the hook against the wire and once again you start to wrap working back towards the bend in the hook. Seven to eight wraps. And this time, when I feed the wire through, I come from behind, let it come out towards the point on the hook. And the reason why I do that, it's a much more natural appearance and it lays flat. And that is simply your quick and easy kingfish rig. Now what we're going to show you is how to attach the swivel. Certainly you can use crimps, but those aren't always available. What you're basically going to do is feed the wire through the swivel, tie a half hitch. Now here's the important part. Whenever you pull your tag end back towards your main line, you want to have the tag end farther down. And the reason why this is going to create a lock in your knot. And it'll keep a loop open. This tool is called a fugu and it's a knot tightening device. As you can see here it has a small groove that's cut out which allows you to place a swivel to hold in place as you simply form barrel twist with a tag end around your main line of wire. Once again, you form seven to eight twists. You use your Fugu tool, you tighten down, and it's solid. With your pliers, you simply trim away the excess
you're ready to go. That's your quick and simple kingfish ring.